Greetings, Workplace Specialist One teachers, and welcome to our unit on Career and Technical Education Advisory Committees and Student Organizations. During this unit, we'll examine how important it is to develop local, regional, and national relationships with stakeholders in your content area. Those stakeholders include business, industry, customers, and interested parties that can further the mission of your CTE program and influence others to do the same. We'll also examine more about career and technical education student organizations, commonly known as CTSOs, and we'll discuss the importance of those organizations to student engagement. As in all of our lessons, we have standards-based objectives. The standards-based objectives for this lesson can be found here, and the first SPO has to do with advisory committees. The second standards-based objective has to do with CTSOs. As in most of our other assignments, there's required reading. That can be found here, and the required readings are found here, and we've also included for you a link to the Indiana Department of Education so that you can learn more about advisory committees and CTSOs. We also have included a number of suggested readings so that you can learn more about what other states are doing in terms of advisory committees and CTSOs. Also, make sure you look at our best practice videos. We've included a number of them. Uh, you will see testimony from CTE directors about how important both advisory committees and CTSOs are. We have some teachers that will be uh, testimony as well, provide testimony regarding both CTSOs and advisory committees. And finally, we'll have some students who are actual officers of CTSOs in the state of Indiana. Finally, make sure you read the discussion forum and the written assignment. The group discussion forum can be found right here. We have some basic questions that we like you to answer on that discussion forum, and we've included the discussion point chart as well so you know what targets to hit. And finally, the written assignment can be found here. The written assignment here for both CTSOs and advisory committees has some very exact headings that you are to use. And those headings include committee and purpose. And then we talk about, uh, you will talk about your committee and its pur purpose. The advantages and standards of um, both CTSOs and advisory committees. And then advisory committee and CTSO functions. And finally, specific steps to getting started and uh, continuing a CT advisory committee and CTSO. And of course, finally, we include our written rubric so you know targets to hit. We hope you'll enjoy this unit, and we know that you will learn more about both CTE advisory committees and CTE student organizations.